Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today we are starting a new uh, lecture based on occurrence of metals. So it is a part of chapter named as metals and known metals. So now we will discuss about occurrence of metals. So as you all know that the earth's crust is major source of metal major source of metals sea water also contains a suitable salts or you can say sea water also contains some soluble salts such as sodium chloride mgcl2 magnesium chloride etc so the elements or the compounds which occurs naturally in the earth crust are known as minerals the elements or compounds which occur naturally in earth's crust are known as minerals okay so at some places mineral contains a very high percentage of a particular metal or at some places it can be very less also and these minerals are called as these minerals which contain a very high percentage of a very high percentage of a particular metal a particular metal and the metal can be and the metal can be profitably profitably extracted from it these are called ores o r e s ores okay students now we will see how do we extract metals okay so means extraction of metals some metals are found in the earth crust in the free state and some are found in their compounds so the metals at the bottom of the activity series are less reactive that we have discussed so they are often found in a free state the metals which are which are at the bottom which are at the bottom of activity series activity series are the least reactive are the least reactive and they are and they are often found they are often found in a free state in a free state for example gold 
silver platinum so these and copper these are found in free states okay copper and silver are also found in combined state such as their sulfide or oxide ores okay and the metals now let me first delete this students now i am drawing here the abstraction of metal from ores means the steps involved in abstraction of metals so here are metals of high reactivity okay so the metals of high reactivity like sodium potassium magnesium calcium and aluminium so they are abstracted using electrolysis of molten care electrolysis of molten ore okay and then you will find out pure metal okay but on the other side metals of medium reactivity for example zinc fe iron lead copper okay so they are now further divided into bases of their ores if they are found in their carbonated ore and if they are found in sulfate sulfide ore okay so the process is called as here is calcination and it is called roasting and then we get oxide of metal then we do the reduction means removal of oxygen reduction reaction reduction of metal then pure metal okay now here is the metals of low reactivity so as we know gold and silver okay so they are found in their native states also sometimes and also in sulfide ores so then same process as roasting then metal then refining so student this is the step involves in the abstraction of steps involved in abstraction of in abstraction of metals from ores so i hope now you guys are pretty clear about how do metals are abstracted from their ores so uh, in the next lecture we will discuss about how individually enrichment of ores uh, means enrichment of metals of low reactivity okay then we will medium reactivity and then we will discuss about high reactivity one by one okay students so stay tuned for the next lecture on abstracting metals in the activity series okay one by one thank you students happy learning